Food has a direct effect on many aspects of your health, including your heart health. Certain nourishments can improve your cholesterol levels and, in turn, lower your risk of heart illness. Keeping your cholesterol in a normal range by choosing heart-healthy foods will help you live a more beneficial life. This video will describe certain types of nourishment and how they can be a part of your plan for controlling cholesterol. Welcome to Scope Care, a safe and healing space for patients and caregivers of all ages. We always bring something unique and provide long-term hope to the health space through therapeutic gardens. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up. Cholesterol is another type of fat in your blood that's produced naturally by your body. It is also found in some foods like eggs, organs such as kidney and liver, and shellfish. No doubt, your body needs some cholesterol for it to work accurately. When your body has high cholesterol levels in the blood, also called hyperlipidemia, it speeds up the process of atherosclerosis, usually when plaque builds up in your artery walls, making them narrower. This makes it difficult for blood to flow through them, and over time it can cause a heart attack or stroke. Number one try to consume more monounsaturated fats. Many weight loss diets suggest eating low-fat foods. However, studies have proven that low-fat diet reduces LDL cholesterol, low-density lipoprotein, and decreases the beneficial high-density lipoproteins, HDL cholesterol. A diet full of monounsaturated fats is better because it reduces the LDL cholesterol and protects the beneficial HDL cholesterol. Monounsaturated fats can also help overcome the oxidation of cholesterol and fats, leading to the clogging of arteries. A few of the best sources of monounsaturated fats are canola oil, avocados, olive oil, and nuts. However, when it comes to nuts, try to consume them in moderation because they can be too high in calories. Number 2. Introduce soluble fiber to your diet. One of the ways to reduce cholesterol is by adding soluble fiber to your diet. Soluble fiber is a compound found in plants that cannot be digested. Adding 2 grams of soluble fiber to your diet can lower your LDL cholesterol by 1%. In another study, adults who took 3 grams of soluble fiber supplements every day for 12 weeks reduced their low-density lipoprotein level by 18%. An ample amount of soluble fiber in your body can reduce cholesterol absorption into the bloodstream. You can find soluble fiber in foods such as peas, lentils, oatmeal, apples, kidney beans, pears, prunes, barley, and whole grains. There are also soluble fiber supplements such as psyllium safely taken to reduce cholesterol levels. Number three, use avocados in your diet. Avocados are not only a delightful addition to your diet, but a heart-healthy one as well. This natural green product packs a bounty of healthy monounsaturated fats and dietary fiber, which help lower LDL cholesterol levels, particularly when consumed in place of less healthy saturated fats. In 2021, a randomized control trial found that overweight or stout individuals who ate one avocado daily as part of an overall heart-healthy diet had an improved LDL cholesterol profile compared to the baseline. Number 4. Consume polyunsaturated fats and omega-3 fatty acids. Fish are well known as a lean protein source and are frequently touted for their heart health benefits. Research has shown that supplementing saturated fats with polyunsaturated fats in your diet can essentially decrease LDL cholesterol. Using polyunsaturated fats can moreover help decrease the risk of coronary heart disease. An omega-3 fatty acid is a type of polyunsaturated fat that promotes heart wellness. Ordinarily, you can get omega-3 from fish and seafood oil supplements. However, if you want to increase your intake of polyunsaturated fats and omega-3 fatty acids, you should eat more fatty fish such as herring, mackerel, salmon, and deep sea tuna. Number 5. Use more garlic, onion, and herbs. Do you want to know how to reduce cholesterol by natural means? You'll do it by basically eating garlic, onions, and herbs. Garlic and onion decrease cholesterol because they have strong sulfur compounds that help cleanse the arteries. 
When it comes to cholesterol-lowering spices and herbs, you should select turmeric, basil, and rosemary. They contain effective cancer prevention agents that reduce cholesterol naturally and protect your cardiovascular system. You can also use olive oil for your cooking and regular dinners to raise HDL or good cholesterol. Just a minute guys, make sure you click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all content from us. Number 6. Soy should be in your diet. Soybeans are a legume high in plant-based protein. Soy is found in edamame, tofu, tempeh, soy milk, and more. One study found that eating daily about 30 grams of soy foods reduced cholesterol levels, thus decreasing the risk of heart disease. Another study concluded that soy foods provide heart health benefits, especially in people with high cholesterol. Number 7. Avoid foods high in trans fat. Trans fat is unsaturated fat that has been modified by hydrogenation. Manufacturers use the hydrogenation process to make the unsaturated fats and vegetable oils more stable as an ingredient. You can often find hydrogenated oils in shortenings and margarine. Food manufacturers prefer trans fat because they can offer more texture than unsaturated liquid oils. This trans fat may benefit food companies, but they are not suitable for the human body. Partially hydrogenated trans fat is capable of increasing your total cholesterol and decreasing the beneficial high-density lipoproteins. Trans fat is considered one of the major causes of heart disease worldwide. Fortunately, there have been strict regulations and implementations regarding the labeling of food products containing trans fat. Just remember, if the label says zero trans fat, do not fall for it. Some food items try to mislead the customers with their labels. If the product contains partially hydrogenated oils in the ingredients list, it has trans fat. Number 8. Apples, Citrus, and Berries Fruit is included as part of any heart-healthy eating pattern, and for good reason. Many fruits are rich in dietary fiber, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. In addition, pectin, a specific type of soluble fiber found in many fruits, including apples, citrus fruits, and berries, helps lower cholesterol by decreasing the amount made by the liver. One small clinical trial of 40 adults found that those who ate two apples per day for eight weeks had lower LDL and total cholesterol levels than the control apple beverage. Antioxidant compounds called polyphenols found in these fruits also have anti-inflammatory effects that may lessen your risk of heart disease by lowering LDL cholesterol and preventing it from oxidizing. Number 9. Vegetables Including vegetables in your diet is advantageous for many reasons, including heart health. Just like fruits, vegetables are nutrient-rich, boasting many fibers, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Moreover, they are less in calories and fat, making them a heart-healthy choice. Dietary fiber from foods, including vegetables, may reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease by decreasing cholesterol levels. Number 10. Olive Oil As a staple in the Mediterranean diet, olive oil has frequently been favored for its heart health benefits. Extra virgin olive oil is wealthy in monounsaturated fats that help lower LDL cholesterol. It's moreover a great source of polyphenols which can help decrease inflammation and the chance of heart disease. Therefore, replacing saturated fats like butter with virgin olive oil in your diet may confer heart protective benefits. Cholesterol can be detrimental to your health if you have too much of it in your system. The non-stop buildup of cholesterol causes blocked arteries and serious heart issues. You will need to make changes in your diet and lifestyle if you want to become healthier. Knowing how to lower cholesterol can be exceptionally beneficial and keep you on the right track. If you think that your total cholesterol level may be high, you should consult your physician. We hope this helps you to know how you can reduce cholesterol in your diet. As we wrap up, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you want to live a healthy life, eat healthy food. Stay healthy, stay happy.